Hello. In today's video I will show you how to convert a graph sequence, into a ladder logic program. I have had a few customers who requested things can only be programmed in ladder logic due to maintenance reasons. Unfortunately, the engineering systems don't provide the option to convert from graph to ladder logic automatically. But I will show you an algorithm that makes this conversion easy and fast. First I will show you the algorithm, and after that we will solve the parking gate system practice task I presented in the graph introduction video. Okay, to reminisce, a graph program stands of steps, where you execute your actions, transitions that lead us to the next step. The actions inside a step are represented on the right end of the rung. We have a boolean variable named as the following step, that will lead us to the next step. Of course you can name it to anything, but it is practical to use reasonable variable names. This boolean variable is set when the transitions condition is fulfilled. Since the transitions in a graph can only be programmed in ladder logic or in function block diagram. This is just a copy and paste plus the actual steps contactor must be true. It is needed to make only the active steps transition to be monitored. Before we solve the mentioned task in TIA portal, here is some visual representation I brought to you. The contactor highlighted with orange represents our step active. The remaining contactors are the sensor values to be taken into account when evaluating the transition. If the condition is true, then activate the next steps boolean variable and reset the current steps variable. In these pictures I tried to represent the basic action a step offers. The set commands are in the first line, the reset in the second, the end command equals to a binary output. The limited time can be programmed using a pulse timer and a binary output. The delayed time can be programmed using an on delay timer and a binary output. We can't use a set because in the graph when you exit the step the delayed tags lose their true status. I tried to make it not so confusing, so let's check it in practice. I am using the project I have used for the graph video, so the tags and the PLC are given. Let us create an FB and ladder logic. I could use an FC also, but I would like to have the step boolean variables in the static field. If you don't remember the previous task, please check out my video about graph. Our graph consisted of 5 steps, so just add them quickly on the static field and let's start putting our program together. You can auto number your variables by dragging the cell's edge. Network 1 will represent the step 1. As we discussed, the actions go to the right side of the rung. With the smove block you can write values to a string in ladder logic. The transitions also branch down after the step activation bit, because we only want the active steps to be monitored. When the transitions condition is fulfilled we set the next step, and reset the recent steps bit. Let's use this algorithm to all of the other steps.
OK, our program is done. Let's hit compile and go to OB1. We should disable our graph, since it would use the same variables and write the same memory areas. Let's drag and drop our FB on the rung and download it. We have our watch table, let's just add the step bit variables from our data block. OK, we have set the start value to step 1, so it serves as the initial step. Let's monitor our program. OK, we are in step 1. Our gate is closed, there is no ticket in the dispenser and waiting for a car to arrive. The arrival of the car lead us to network 2. We print our ticket, and wait till the driver takes it. When the ticket is taken, we open the gate and signal it on the display. When the gate is opened, the gate closed sensor signals false, and the gate open sensor is true. When the driver drives in the parking house, the vehicle sensor turns off and we initiate the closing of the barriers. When it is closed, the sequence can be repeated from the start. This was our video about converting algorithm from graph to ladder logic. I hope you found it useful. If so, then please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting PLC topic. If you have any question, feel free to ask it. See you next time. Bye bye.